Okay friends, today we are going to be making animals out of paper. So you need your stack of colored paper from your supply kit, or if you don't have your supply kit, then just any colored construction paper that you have, and some glue, I have a glue stick. We need to decide what animal we want to make. And here are some different ideas. You could do a lion, a bird, a frog, a tiger, a cat, a mouse, a dog, an elephant, a fish, a giraffe, or any other animal you can think of. And I think I'm going to do a tiger. So I'm going to flip to a new piece of paper. And the color that I think I'm going to start with is orange because I need orange for my tiger's body. So I'm gonna rip my paper in half because I don't need so much of it. And I'm going to start by making my tiger's body. So I'm going to rip with my two fingers and turn. Maybe I'll make like a rectangle body or an oval body. It's okay if it's hard for you to rip an oval or a circle. That takes time. So you do the best that you can. So here's the body for my tiger and now I need some other shapes. Like, I think I need a head for my tiger. And a tiger head might be a circle or not a perfect circle, maybe it'll be like this. And remember, when we take two pieces that are the same color and put them together, it looks like one big piece. Now I need to do some legs. And we've learned that we can fold paper in half, one way and then the other, to make a crease. And then I can tear along that crease and it makes a smoother edge than the bumpy edge I did here. So I can do that again. And for a tiger, how many legs do I need? Anyone? That's right, four legs. Now I have two legs right now. These are super tall giraffe legs and I'm not making a giraffe, I'm making a tiger. So I'm gonna take these and tear them in half. And now I'm starting to get somewhere for my tiger. I am going to be gluing these pieces down and I know I still have more things that I need to make but I'm gonna start with this. So I'm gonna take my glue, I'm gonna put glue on one side and then I can smooth it down. are not going to use any crayons or markers or anything other than just our torn paper to make our animal. So it's important that we think about all the parts that we need for our animal. Like I know a tiger has a really long tail. So I can kind of turn my paper so it curves a little and then I can keep tearing. Ah, there we go. Okay, and then maybe I'll flip it over so it's like this. I also know that my tiger might need some ears. So I can tear smaller pieces by using my little pincher fingers. And there's one little triangle ear. Remember, a triangle has three sides. If I don't make a perfect triangle, that's okay. I can always put it together like this because two pieces that are the same color look like one piece. Okay, now I need a nose and eyes for my tiger as well as the stripes. If I were to make eyes out of orange, I wouldn't be able to see them. So I think I'm going to rip a piece of white paper off so that I have it. And I can rip and tear teeny tiny circles for some eyes. But maybe I'd also like to add black to the center of this because right now those eyes look a little spooky. So I'm gonna tear a small piece of black. We're gonna try and get as much of our animal done today as we can, but if you don't finish, that's okay. We're gonna save this and we are going to use the same picture tomorrow and we'll be finishing it. making my tiger. I'm going to put this somewhere safe so that I can continue working on it tomorrow. Great job artists!